Welcome today, folks, on Rocket Field TV, where we have Tim Hortons roll up the rim over oh, that fucking SO up there. Yeah, man. This shit hot as hell, though. I'm like burning my fucking hands off right now. And trying Canon named at 17, 1800s. At least before the steam engine. Yo, what's up, Rocket Mission family? We're out here chilling and in the middle of a park, Point Pleasant Park to be exact. Today I'm gonna talk about, you know, a little bit about myself and like the city that I'm come from. And just cause I have like the Canada shirt on today, I'm also gonna talk about, you know, like my city and like a little bit of the history of it. I'm not gonna get into like too much of it, but I'm definitely gonna share what I can. And you can see the, um, the fortress behind me. Halifax actually became a city um, that was built by the British there in around the uh, 1750s. It was 1749 that Halifax was actually founded. And so let's take a walk around this um this fortress here. So let's see that shit man. Just one part of the larger defense system. So beginning in 1749 the British Army built a network of fortifications to defend the naval base in Halifax from enemy attack. Which at the time the French and the British were trying to gain control of North America in different parts. Whereas the Brit, whereas the French had a uh, stronghold up in Fort Louisburg and in many parts of Cape Breton, obviously originally being land uh, owned by you know uh, inhabited by the native peoples of Canada, but uh, this is the city that was built after the colonialization of everything. So let's keep rolling. The music that we've been working on lately. An influence from a lot of the area, you know, a lot of the East Coast stuff. I like to keep that in my music and whatnot, but also from different parts all around, all around North America for sure. <clears throat> I mean, you can only wonder what they really must have been doing around here when they built this shit. Like, there was never a full attack on Halifax. But, um, I mean, they built a lot of stuff. That's for sure. There's still cannons around the city. Stuff like that. And this tower here was built about 50 years later. This fortress is just a, uh, just a park. You know, and this all here is just like, it's on top of the hill. A bunch of rocks. There's a nice dog. So yeah, back into the habit, starting days between the times of 5 and 6 a.m. And drinking more water. Obviously, I start my mornings with coffees usually, but trying to have more H2O included in all of that. Getting back into certain exercise routines that I had. And uh, just a lot of stuff, man. It's a great day to be out. I am going to end this video here. We're gonna have a part two coming up in just a little bit. Two cannons there. Cannon named out here, and this is what. That would have been sailing ships back in the 17, 1800s. At least before the steam engines came along. And you see how uh, how good of a view it is of the ports in the city. You know what I mean? There's the shipping port on that side. And then you got the old fortress on this side. So the rest of this video coming down here. 
all this stuff carved in. Got stuff carved in here from like Ella Francis, 1890. That's not even half the age, but it goes back. <clears throat> One of the fortress, so they're a wizard. <clears throat> Trying to keep it the camera a little bit steady here. I mean, you gotta see this view, you'll see exactly why they set all these cannons on top of the hill. The little hatch don't fall in. You know what I mean? Oh, there's the crown. The uh, super super cool thing about like our city having all these old ass fortresses in here that are like completely abandoned never even got used so like technically it was a waste of time when they were built but that also might be one of the reasons why the city was never actually um invaded because well the fortress you don't want to fuck around with that and the coal powered steam engines everything would have been done right through here by the sail ships Y'all guys can see all the different names everybody carved in here over the years. Some from 2013, 2020, 2017, 3009, something. And we got like, and what is this? one of the tips that you can walk around and yes I have sailed over to that island there's also another two fortresses that are on that island there's one in around that cove there which I've sailed out to before on a uh, it's called a 420 boat it's a dinghy it's only a two or three person boat um, you can do Olympic class sailing with it and uh, we just kind of docked in around that cove beached our ships, um, just went up there to the top and that's where they have uh, that fortress. So you can see the ships sailing in. I think he just has his anchor down. I think that is uh, one of our military ships. Once I leave here, I'll be going back over to Dartmouth to go and uh, link up with the team. All this stuff here. Wow, that must have been really zoomed in. But you see this old ass tree and all this old ass stuff. And all these cannons, man. They got the uh, size written right on it. They got the seven tons, you know, on both of these. Seven tons. So you see, it got like a really good view. Basically now it's just a dog park. So, ooh, all right. So, as you guys can see, we're getting to the end of our walk. Thank you guys for joining in on Rocket Fuel TV, on Rocket Mission Films, Halifax, Nova Scotia's number one media outlet and TV show.